Hey guys, it's Slimy Dog again, and you're probably wondering two things. One, why is this episode uploaded so fast? And two, what was that good news that I was going to talk about from the previous episode? So right now, let's just start off with chapter one. That's right, chapter one, not prologue five or anything. We're actually starting with the chapter. So, uh, yeah. Mark, Princess... <coughs> Marth, Princess of Altia, was lucky. Though Dolro took from him his kingdom and all but a handful of knights, they could not take his life. So he lived, and he went to the eastern isle of Talus. Talus was a small border kingdom with no grand order of knights to boast of, but its king selflessly gave Marth use of the isle for east Isle's eastern fortress. So then he started training, and yeah. Okay. So yeah, he started training with them and pirates. Oh my god. Yeah, so let's. I'll just explain stuff about this um this chapter right after this. Sorry, you have a visitor from the castle. It's Prince Kata. You look white as a sheet. Come on, they're all coming. They're gonna kill me. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, there's quite a few new characters. One is Drog the Knight and Kata the Pegasus Knight. This was fra you saw this guy in the previous chapter, and this is the girl that you just saw right now. So uh, this chapter should be pretty easy um, to take care of. So really, you shouldn't be able to, you shouldn't lose any knights in this chapter because it's pretty much that easy. Okay, so clearly, um, yeah, I just died. Well, I didn't die, but Abel died. Which proves to show that you shouldn't, <clears throat> you shouldn't use one character, two characters to take out an entire army of like seven pirates. Also, uh, let's just quickly kill this guy. Shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, maybe it is. Um, actually, I'll just give Frey this kill. Really? You know, I'm starting to think Abel is the only useful guy I have. I and mean, look at that. Yeah, that does like one damage. So anyways, that was a thief. What thieves are, are basically, um, brilliant gains there. See, look, that's why I love Abel, because he gets amazing stat boosts. Or called, they're called growth, growth changes, whatever. Uh, yeah, so, the thieves are, like, weak units, however, they can take take down villages and villages usually give you stuff like this is a village it gives you it gives you items and oh there's another village here I should have noticed that oh uh, no matter let's just wait for them to move forward oh yes and these are pirates pirates are basically um basically there are different units that can walk on water for example if I tried this I can't walk on that water but if I had a pirate with me it could walk on the water so that's a pretty useful thing to have so let's just go here and visit this and we get 10,000 gold so gold can be used to buy things at armories which are like the shops of this game there's two types of shops one are armories and the other is I forgot the name but uh, yeah I won't really buy anything right now I won't sell anything either uh, that is the wing spear, which is Kada's weapon, special weapon, just like Marth has the rapier, rapier, whatever. So uh, let's let's um, I need actually Kada should buy a iron, iron whatever. So let's just give her an iron lance. Um, should I? Eh, no, no. That should be enough. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. So um. Here we have Gordon, and Gordon is quite defensive, but not as defensive him as him, so I'm gonna just let him take the hits from all of these guys, and, uh, because he is a knight. Knights are like the tanks of this game. They basically take all the hits for you. Um, so let's just move all our units forward a bit, and I should probably tell you why I'm uploading the video s it's like right now why I uploaded a video it is because I felt like uploading a video and I did not want to waste my time yeah 
that's pretty much it. Not really anything important there, but uh, we can take care of this guy from here. So let's uh, go here and attack this guy. Steel bow, uh, yes, steel bow should be good. Steel bow, and that's one dead pirate. See what I did there? Dead pirate. That actually wasn't a joke. The joke was in the joke itself. <clears throat> uh, iron sword? Yep, iron sword. Uh, yeah. These guys are weak. As... Shoes. Shoes are pretty weak. Personal experience. Um... So. Let's, uh, let's... Get through this level. Hopefully using all my characters this time. Unlike the previous time. And because I'm feeling kind of nice, let's visit this house. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. See, if a thief reaches a village before the prince does, there's no living village left. So let's end the turn here. Oh yeah, I should not have done that actually. Yeah. Okay, that was not an act. That was not exactly a good move to do. Especially considering the fact that all of my good units are not really here. Um, hmm. Let's see, I can attack this guy, or I can attack this guy. And both of them don't do any damage. Or rather, I should say they don't do much damage, because that's, uh... Okay. So I know for a fact I can take care of these guys. Um... But... It's going to be difficult. Uh, so, let's try to tank this guy over here. Okay. Yeah. And hopefully this guy will be able to kill him in one shot. Hope it doesn't miss, and it did not miss. And he gets a level up. Second level up. That's a pretty good boost, but once again, speed. I don't really know what speed does for an archer. Um, because usually my archers never attack twice. And by my archers, I mean Gordon, because I only have one archer. Um, Kane. So you can try double teaming this guy, but uh, hmm. um, so this guy's at harm. Uh, let's see. He's strong enough. He can take a few hits. So we'll take this guy down with this, and. Uh, let's try to not die here. This guy. Okay. Uh, please don't kill me. Yep. That's brilliant. So, there we finish our first attack. And about 8 minutes done. So that's not that bad. And clearly, uh, clearly, Marth is a very weak unit. I don't know why Marth isn't that good. I mean, usually it's br he's a brilliant unit, but this time, um, not so much. So there we go. Let's just see how much. Yeah, I have a lot of coverage. Like I can. Let's just move all my units a little forward, and let's move him here. So. Um, that's a smart strategy, because if you move one of your knights or something forward, he's going to take some of the hits, and I'll just take care of him like that. And move my units forward again. So as I said, this is a pretty easy level if you don't use only one unit like I did. Should I? I don't know whether I'm going to cut that part out. Probably am going to cut the part where I died horribly out. Uh, should I? Yeah, I'll probably. Let's see, who's stronger? Um, I'm guessing this guy. Yep, so you are coming with me and Kane. I'm, I'm just probably gonna kill him. He's probably gonna be beat. Oh yes, and this is a archer. Or, not an archer, but a hunter. Basically, any bow is super effective on Pegasus Knights, and therefore, if you see an archer, the first thing you should try to do is kill it. If you cannot kill it, then, um, yeah, then you're kind of screwed. So, 
I guess I'll go with the hunger accuracy thing. Man. Oh no, his iron sword broke. But that basically is a good thing, meaning that I used his iron sword 40 times, which is brilliant. Uh, and I usually never use items that much. Um So yeah, what you just saw there is breaking. It's kinda like an item using all losing all of its PP and you cannot heal an item's PP unless you combi combine combine two things. Um which can be only done in the is that no. There's no thief, so you shouldn't worry about losing anything here. Um that's the convoy. Basically you can retrieve items from the convoy. Basically allows you to store like two hundred items as you can clearly see there. So uh yeah. Um Okay. Let's try for all out attack here. So first this guy can try to attack um him with the javelin. Uh will that work? Let's uh let's hope it does. And nope. I'll just wait for a few turns. No, but he's in the way over there, so let's just move back there and end the turn. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, and we can give Kata a bit of no. I'm kind of worried Kata is gonna die because uh, she's weak. That wasn't supposed to be a joke. Why are you laughing? You're not laughing. I'm sorry. Oh God. Come on! Come on! Just, just, just kill him. That's brilliant. Another level up. You are getting way too many level ups. I mean, look at his speed. His speed is like 6, and yours is freaking like 13. 13! You know how fast that is? That's pretty fast. Let's heal you on that fort for a move. Oops. Uh, shouldn't be much more. Why are you giving Abel so much experience? I mean, seriously, don't you have any sense at all? Um, yeah, so let's just visit this place, and we are going to get a new unit. That's called Wears. Wears is a curate. Basically, curates can be used to heal units like that, but he is a kind of useless curate, so... I suggest you just convoy his item store, and... Basically, he's not going to be able to do anything, uh, which isn't much of a worry. Um, so now what we should do is we should wait for the right moment. Um, a good way of training your unit right now would be to actually use Gordon. Basically, what Gordon's going to do is he's going to keep attacking this guy called Gazak with an iron bow, not a steel bow. And, yeah. The mighty of Altia, you say now. Har, ye sprongs look to be might short of mighty to me to uh, Can't really read that language. I'm sorry, what did you say? Okay, so, uh, basically, basically what we gotta do is we got to kill this guy and try not to die ourselves like last time. Um, so, I'd say the, uh, smart thing to do right now would be to give, uh, give him an item, a jolly good item. Uh, nope, I'd like to trade the item with him, the vulnerary, and we can just wait, and, uh, I'm going to take the item, the vulnerary, and use it to heal a bit of my health, and, uh, we will see what we shall be doing. So that's about 4 damage, so that's about 8 damage there. But, uh, I'm quite worried that she's going to die, but that's not much of a worry, because she's got quite a lot of health. And, uh, no, I would not like to move yet. That does, uh, 3 damage, so, uh, let's see what we can do right now. Um, if we can stop the turn. Uh, I say we should, uh, move a few of our units forward. But then again, we can only use, uh, four units to attack him. One is a bowman. Archer. Archer. Sorry. The second is this guy. Um. So this guy, he can basically move here, kill him, like, attack him. 
this guy can move here, attack him. She can move there, attack him, and he can move here and attack him. So you have four attacks, which should be more than enough. In one turn especially. Okay, that was a total waste of time. Anyways, what I want to say is, uh, what was I going to say? God, God. Uh, yeah. So a good way to train Gordon in this area is basically to use the iron bow on him. So basically, as you can see, if I use a bow and attacks, I get a bit of experience there. So that way I just keep attacking him and keep getting loads of experience. Uh, but I will not be doing that. Or we could just attack with the javelin here, using our brilliant unit, uh, in like two freaking moves. Uh, and kill this guy. That's about three, and I have 21. He's like untouched. You can't touch me. I have to be careful now. Use the iron bow, kill him, and boom! You're, you'll pay the dog. No, you'll pay dog. He's calling us a dog. You bad person. You don't call me dog. See, look at that. Not even one strength boost. Seriously? I mean, I don't need speed. Speed is not needed. Um. So yeah, that is the end of this uh, episode. And, oh yeah, I was going to tell you the good news that I was going to tell you from last episode. So the good news is that... It's not really good news, it's just news. Um... I'm not going to be creating any more new episodes till the, uh, till the what of what? The 4th or 3rd of October, when that's one or two days after Black and White 2 comes out. And, uh, yeah. So I'm not going to be making any episodes till then. However, when I do make the episodes, I'm going to try to make them as good as possible. And, uh, basically... How I'm going to do this is by making sidebars. Sidebars on my video which basically show you the members of my party and the Pokemon that you can find in the route and stuff like that. Basically useful information and hopefully, you know, you find it attractive enough and then you randomly decide to subscribe to me because you're logging to your account and you're pretty bored and because I usually never waste your time. So that's pretty much all I want to say today. Goodbye, everyone. I'm going to seize this thing and just talk to the guy. Talus King. Seriously, were the developers that lazy to make a name like, hmm, what should I call him? Let's, uh, let's call him, uh, let's call him the King of Talus. Yeah, that's a very catchy name. That's, that's like the most original name I've ever heard. Yeah, that's smart. Let's just do that. Ah, Prince Marth, you have saved us in our hour of need. Please accept my thanks. Lad, you are, I believe you are ready. You wish to seek out allies and Arlis, I will give you soldiers. Captain Ogma, the fighters will serve you well. Uh, yes, lots of people. So, you better, you better go to villages and recruit them. Yeah, let's do this. So, we're just gonna save here. And, uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. So far, we've been playing this game for 1 hour and 10 seconds. So once again, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Slimy Dog, signing out. Goodbye.